The Surefire Turbo Series of lights, higher candela and a more focused beam. And what does that do for you? Well, it reaches out to further distances. It can cut through like fog or tint on windows, helps you identify what's out there. They have it available for rifles and for pistols. Chris is with Andrew Wright from Surefire with a great demonstration of what these lights can do for you. Andrew, since the first time we talked about the difference between lumens and candela, I've been infatuated with the turbo and its penetrating power. Yeah, it's been going over really well. People are really liking how much further it penetrates, all the benefits that you get from that tighter beam pattern. It's not replacing the hybrid beam pattern lights that we have, but it does a really good job at getting you more information at distance. Well, for me, I live in the country now, so I have a big piece of property, and I need that extra length of beam. I need it to get out there and be able to see the fence lines and everything cut through the fog, the dense Louisiana air. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits to reaching out further. You can get a little bit more information on what's going out downrange. Um, also less splashback if you're shooting around obstacles and barricades, as we'll see in a little bit. We're talking about splashback. So now we're in a, a semi-lit room. We've got a dark door over here, and we've got a bad guy in there. I think his name's KJ, but he's going to have to show us his hands. So I'm going to start by lighting him up with the standard hybrid beam on the scout light. And I'm coming up on my gun, and I look, and I see somebody. Now, I can't see everything. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Now, show me your hands, both of them. He's definitely got something in his hands. So now I want you to light that up. Oh man, what a difference. Yeah, so. Show us your hands. I think Come I on. see a gun on the counter next to he him. He goes for that gun, Shoot Oh, him. he's got it in his hand. Drop the gun. Man, that makes all the difference in the world because although I can see a human, I couldn't identify the threat. There's a time and a place for everything, but let's take it into a dark, dark room where we're both in the dark and let's see the differences there. Let's check it out. All right, Andrew, we're in the shoot house now. It's lit up right now, but we're gonna turn these lights off, use our night vision cameras so people can see what's going on. So I've got Kevin in the room. We're gonna back him out. Let's see what we can see. Lights. Come on out, yep, there he is. He's already there, he's got a cell phone in his hand, he's got his other hand behind his back. Oh man, you light him up. Man, I tell you what, show us your hands, show us your hands, show us your hands. I don't know about you, but I only got one shot on him, but it was a good shot. I got a couple, but I thought one of the uh, notable aspects of that is when you had your standard Ultra Scout Light Pro on, um, we filled up the room really nice, but there was a decent amount of splashback on you. That's see what was screwing with my sights. Yeah, I could see it in my periphery. Uh, when I turned on the Turbo Scout Light, it seemed like most of the light was projected downrange on KJ. So I liked the hybrid because it lit up the whole room. I could see if there was anybody else in there. I could see any kind of movement or shadows. The problem is I have to be more disciplined about how I use cover with this light due to that splashback. But the Turbo, it just cuts right through everything. Yeah, everything including tinted windows, which is another benefit of these Turbo Series lights. They do a really good job for law enforcement or anybody concerned with shining through tinted windows. So just another benefit with the Turbo Series lights. Well, I can't say that I dislike either one of them. I want one of each. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to guntalk.com, guntalktv.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.